Hey there crafty crew, welcome or welcome back to the channel and the boss blitz is back with another tutorial for you today. Today we are going to be making car freshener tins. As usual, if you have any questions or crafty requests, go ahead and drop them down in the comments below. Now let's get into it. So here's everything that you're going to need to make the car freshener tins. A one quart mason jar, some masking tape and a marker to label your jar with, two ounce tins. Next, you'll need a spoon and a 1 32nd teaspoon. You will need a scoop or a measuring cup, unscented aroma beads, fragrance oil. This is a lemon from Waxy Flower Candle Supply in Dallas, Texas a glass or thick plastic cup or bowl to measure your fragrance in. A means of coloring your aroma beads. I'm just using mica powder that I got from Amazon, but I have also seen people use liquid candle dye as well. I just prefer mica powder because there's no dry time involved. A toaster oven or your home oven. I'm using a toaster oven that I got from Walmart for about $20. This toaster oven also came with a pan and a rack inside. So if you're going to use your home oven, make sure that you either use an old pan, one that you don't mind using for fresheners, or just get a Dollar Tree pan, like the one that I have here. Something to set your pan on when you take it out of the oven. You can use a pot holder or a cooling stand like the one that I have here. Some pot holders to set your tins on to cool afterwards. An oven mitt tongs, a scale, and lastly, you will need a timer. You can either use your phone timer or get a kitchen timer like the one that I have here. All of the supplies that I've listed will be linked down in the description below, except for the cooling stand. Okay, now let's begin the process. First, we're going to take our jar, the aroma beads, our scoop, and a scale. Next, let's take the lid off of our jar and place our empty jar onto our scale and hit tear or the zero out button. Now we're going to use our scoop to put eight ounces of aroma beads into our jar. Okay, now we're going to move on and measure our fragrance oil into our bowl. Since we have eight ounces of aroma beads, we're going to add two ounces of fragrance oil to our bowl. Then we will pour our fragrance into our jar of aroma beads. In some cases, you may find that you need to use less fragrance oil. I highly suggest that you use this tutorial as a baseline. So if you feel that you need to cut back after you've done this process, by all means do so. An easy fix if you feel like you have too much fragrance in your jar of aroma beads, add just one more ounce of aroma beads to your jar and see if that helps even it out a bit. Now that we've put our fragrance in the jar with our beads, we can put the lid on. Then we're going to give it a good shake and we're going to take our masking tape and write the name of the fragrance that we used onto the masking tape and then put that onto the jar. And set it aside for the beads to dry. Aroma beads typically take anywhere from a few days to a little bit over a week to dry. It all just depends on which fragrance that you're using. You want to come pay your beads a visit every day and give them a shake at least once a day until they have fully dried. You will know that your beads are fully dry when you go to shake them and they no longer stick to the sides of the jar anymore. Here are beads that are dry and here are beads that are not dry yet. Now that our beads are fully dry, we can add our color into them. We're going to just take our 1 32nd of a teaspoon and scoop some mica powder into the jar of our now scented aroma beads. 
Now we give it a good shake so we can get all of our aroma beads coated. Start off with just a little bit of mica powder in the beginning, shake it up, and then see if you need to add more. I wasn't exactly getting the color that I was looking for with just the yellow mica powder, so I did grab some orange mica powder and added just a little bit of that into the jar, and I got exactly what I was looking for after that. Okay, now that our beads are colored the way that we want them, we can now put them into our tins and get them ready to bake. With the amount of beads that we have prepared today, this will make eight two ounce tins perfectly with no leftovers. So we're going to take eight of our two ounce tins, take our lids off and set them aside. And really quick, we're going to preheat our toaster oven to 350 degrees. If you're using your home oven, preheat it as early as you need to to allow it to reach 350 degrees. You know your own appliance is best. For my toaster oven, it typically takes about five to 10 minutes for it to reach temperature. Then we're gonna grab our spoon, our scale, and our tins to begin measuring our aroma beads into them. Each tin will get 1.2 ounces of finished aroma beads. Now that all of the tins are filled, we can place them onto our pan and get them ready to go in the oven. My pan fits all eight tins perfectly. Now we're gonna set our timer for five minutes, but don't hit start just yet. After you've set your timer and your oven is preheated, go ahead and slide these babies in to bake and hit start on your timer. Once the timer goes off, remove your pan of your tins from the oven, set your pan on your cooling stand, and then take your tongs and carefully move each tin from the pan to your pot holders to allow them to cool. What you're looking for with your tins is that the beads are sticking together and not moving around. You do not want the top of your tin to be completely smooth. When your tins have completely cooled, you can now label or package them however you like. Thank you for sticking around to learn with me today. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like. And if you'd like to see future candle and crafting videos, go ahead and subscribe. Happy making.